how does your creativity find form? We've been talking about knitting, um, but besides or including knitting, what are some of your other favorite media of creative expression? Um, my other one, which is more sort of historical, is drawing. Okay. Um, I like drawing a lot. I like, um, again, because I'm very sort of methodical and precise, the type of drawing I was always drawn to when I was younger was life drawing or mm -hmm. anatomical illustration. I used mm -hmm. to take out Grey's Anatomy mm. and copy the, the body parts mm -hmm. and everything, which is kind of strange, but I just liked it. That That's what I, that's what I liked. Um, it's unfortunate that computers have taken over that software because <laughs> I always thought, I want to be an anatomical Draw. illustrator. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that that is um, probably my other um, love. Mm -hmm. But what I'm doing currently, um, I've been quilting a bit, soft quilt, mm -hmm. um, and photography. Oh. Um, and that has... Been because of the knitting, I created a blog, and now everyone's blog, everyone looks like a professional photographer. So that was something I started to mm -hmm. look into. I'm like, why do my pictures look so crappy compared to so and so's or whatever? So I started looking into that, and I've gotten into photography because of that. I'm realizing since everything is online, mm -hmm. the only way people can see you or you know your first impression are your photographs. Okay. Why are you drawn to these media, or what? is attractive about them. So maybe start with drawing. What, well, you said because you're methodical. So you kind of already answered that. But if there's anything else to elaborate on, what, what? Uh... I think most things I'm drawn to um, I have to do with my hands. So okay. you were talking about how you're a dancer. Mm -hmm. um, that I'm just, I'm like all thumbs when it comes to my feet. Okay. Um, but anything where, that requires dexterity, I really, really like. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, even painting never really appealed to me. Um, That's interesting. You know, even holding holding the brush and these movements, it's more of a, a full body okay. sort of idea. Where drawing, I really like because you can just get in there and really, you know, you're there with the pencil or the charcoal, and mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit more. You're closer okay. to it, which is why I like knitting. I mean, that is obviously just mm -hmm. you know all your hands. Um, did you so, yeah. did you come across sewing at the same time that you came across knitting? Also, or was that something that also came? That came a little bit later on, okay. probably a year after I started knitting. Okay. And um, is that also for you because it's mostly hand you know, and less? What's funny was I started quilting. I bought you know a cheap little sewing machine. I started quilting or whatever, and I just I just wanted the final product. I wanted to see mm. you know a quilt. Um, and I think any artist will tell you is if you only want the final product, don't even bother. It's all about the process. Mm -hmm. You spend way too much time creating to not like it. So anyway, so um, the more quilting I did, the less I, I'm not. I don't really like the sewing machine that much. Okay. Um, it's fast. It's great. It's a practical tool. Um, but I came across a class for hand piecing and hand quilting, mm -hmm. and of course I fell in love with that. That okay. was. That's definitely my favorite way of quilting. Okay. Very time consuming. Right, yes. Very time and very hard on your hands, even harder than knitting. Okay. Um, but again, something that you. Some, yeah, I need to be able to touch it and to feel it. Okay. Yeah. What music is in your current playlist, or what CD or song do you have on repeat? Given our music in the background, I, I know have... a little bit what you like to listen to. Yeah, this is a random one. Um, Currently, I have Florence and the Machine, okay. um, the album Lungs, which is kind of old, but then they just came out with a B-sides of Lungs, like literally just a couple weeks ago. I thought that was so weird. Um, that album and uh, Mumford and Sons I, I have on repeat. Um, it's probably yeah, Pink, okay, because she came out with her greatest hits, mm -hmm. so I got that. Um, what is the last best book you've ever read? Why We Get Fat. Wow. Nonfiction, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, by Gary Taubes, I think, or Taub. Okay. Um, and he talks about why we get fat. It was great. Cool. What is on your nightstand right now? And can we take a look at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last book I had on my nightstand is 400 Knitting Stitches. Okay. 
Um, any other things that aren't necessarily books that you keep on your nightstand that sort of reflect you? I have, a, <laughs> I have um, these Bliss <laughs> gloves. They, okay. They soften, those like lubricating gloves that mm -hmm. soften your hands. Knitting is very drawing to the hands, so I have those. Okay. Um, I have a little sleep mask oh. because Miguel, my husband, he likes to play. <laughs> He likes to play online poker late into the night. <laughs> Sometimes that keeps me from touching my Z's. So okay. I put on my little sleep mask, which helps. Okay. What is one of your not so guilty pleasures or one of your guilty pleasures? Or both? Um, you know, not so long ago, a not so guilty pleasure would have been running, but I haven't been doing that for a while. Mm -hmm. It's been five weeks since I've run. Oh, wow. It's a long time for me. Um, but I would say that that's a not-so-guilty pleasure. It's a, Running is, I think, especially when you live in an urban area, um, it's really the only time that you can be kind of alone, mm. really alone in your thoughts. Um, but guilty pleasure at anything. I mean, I eat, I drink, I shop a lot. Um, yeah. I'll have to get the bag on Phil. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you love to pamper yourself? Um, alone time. I think that is the most luxurious thing. Mm -hmm. I, I guess much like the running. But that's like, you know, if Miguel's going to be out that night or something, mm -hmm. I'm like, I come home, I'm like all excited, I have my whole evening planned. What is your favorite color? Speaking of from before. It always sort of depends on what the colors are reference to. I just, I like black. Okay. <laughs> just like black. What is your favorite season? Winter. What is your favorite word? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. Home cooked or microwave? Home cooked. A book or movie? Book. Ice cream or frozen yogurt? Ice cream. <laughs> and Shakespeare or Sondheim? Shakespeare. Shakespeare.